Hi guys, Bex here. Welcome back to some Minecraft discussion. Okay, so for this video, as you may know, it's another discussion video, so you can treat it as a podcast and just listen to me and not really have to watch because nothing too exciting ought to be going on. I'm just working on my castle and I think it's coming along pretty nicely. I'll just be moving, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just be pretty much moving dirt around and actually replacing this wall with stone. But I was thinking about something today and I realized that because I had something to say on it and because I might end up helping some kids, uh, I should do a discussion episode on it and just tell you guys my story. Uh, this is about me, this is about uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, specifically how back when the game was uh, first released back in Classic, I think it was oh, 2005, I think this is going to be. Yeah, I think this all went down in 2005 and I was in, uh, I was in college and I basically played WoW to the point where it wasn't healthy and I think my real life you know social life may have suffered a little bit although my my real life friends were also playing the game and uh, they were just as heavily invested in it too uh, but for sure my performance in in college suffered in my in my classes uh, and I thought about this today because uh, I'm playing WoW with friends again, and uh, I just signed up back up to it a, uh, a few weeks ago and for the Mist of Pandaria expansion. And I actually stopped playing today and... Uh, Dang it. I, I stopped playing and I told my friends that I was done with WoW for today. That was it. I had hit my my limit and I wasn't just gonna I wasn't gonna play anymore. There was still more stuff to do, but I just did not want my entire day being, you know, devoted to this this video game. Uh, and you know to a lesser extent I actually was kind of the same way with, with Minecraft when it very first came out. I just played it all day long. Although that was more of an, that was, I think, maybe a more positive experience because it was uh, exploration and wonder and expressing creativity and building stuff. Whereas WoW, it's all about, uh, WoW is a giant Skinner Box game. It's designed around re reward schedules and grinding and doing repetitive actions that have long since, you know, stopped being fun on their own. But you're just you're doing them because of uh, to keep up or to catch up. And that was uh, kind of how I was leveling to when I came back to the game, uh, leveling to ninety to play with my friends they were ahead of me and I felt like I had to, I had to play the game to catch up and keep up and once I got to 90 well then I had to do this dungeon or do this raid and get this these loot drops and get this gear and today I I said no I was like no no uh you know, I know I'm going to get this stuff done eventually, but I'm doing it on my time schedule, and I'm not going to play this game and uh, get that feeling where it's like, oh, I, I got to play. It's like, no, no, I don't have to play, and you guys can just wait on me, and that's that's all there is to it. And I wanted to make this video. This is this is a very very personal subject for me, so uh, excuse me if I'm kind of just awkwardly picking my way through the the, the topic and I'm, I'm not just uh, it's definitely not a normal video but I, I wanted to I wanted to talk about it I, I wanted to talk about it and 
but I uh, let, let's start start at the very beginning. Uh, when I first started playing WoW back in like uh, I, I got it right at launch. It launched in I think it technically launched in I'm not gonna go check Wikipedia, but I think it was 2004, and I really got into it in 2005. Uh, but the feeling I had was oh my guild needs me, and we had to we had to raid and we had to you know get a certain you know certain gear certain armor or whatever uh, that was better than what we had before and the reason we needed that was so that we could do this next raid and it forms a repetitive cycle I, I suppose that's redundant or repetitive cycles are by nature uh, repetitive where you need to get armor with bigger video game numbers on it to do raids to get more armor that has even bigger video game numbers on it. And I, I'm aware of this, of the absurdity, and I quit playing the game for that loot chase. I play the game just to... Uh, for a more, I think, something that's a little healthier to do. It's just for the satisfaction of beating a challenge and not to, you know, be so caught up in, oh, i got to get all this, you know, this, imagine this, this virtual checklist of items that I'm supposed to have to have. Uh, otherwise, I'm, you know, not playing the game right. But that, that's what I felt like. It's like, okay, well, we need to get, we need to get this much fire resistance on our gear for this fight, and we'll do this fight for uh, for this these items that we'll need to help us with this next fight. And at some point, it's just I kind of stopped, and I was like, okay, I've been on this game for 10, 12 hours, you know. I've been sitting in front of my computer for like 10 hours now uh, playing this game. And with, 30, with 39 other people, I don't really even know that well uh, in a raid. And for what? And at the time, I was so I was so caught up in it. It was uh, I just didn't even think to to ask those questions. Uh, now I do though, and I've I've since then I've learned a lot more about game design and game mechanics and just how games are put together, and I recognize. I can almost immediately spot. I uh, what am I trying to say here? I recognize how games take advantage of human psychology, and my guard is raised to that. Uh, especially when game developers try and do things that uh, take advantage of human psychology to exploit it and make people play longer, thus giving them more money. Uh, that's why I was complaining so much about Minecraft fishing, because the, the Minecraft fishing now is, I mean, it's, it's basically like a slot machine. You do the exact same repetitive action over and over again. The reason you do it is because sometimes you get a, get this infrequent reward, and you get a rare drop, and it makes you feel good. But if you didn't get that, if there was no promise of that, you wouldn't be doing it. You know, if I went down to that water right down there and right-clicked on my screen, and then sat there and waited for the thing to bob, and then right-clicked again. I mean, really, that's not really, that's not fun. It's not fun. And if there was if there was no rare loot drop from it, I wouldn't be doing it. And I'm pretty sure, and in fact I know, because I asked this in a previous video, I asked for feedback, I was, uh, I asked, you know, would you would you be doing this if it wasn't for the rare loot drop? And everybody said no. It's like a few people said that they fished. The only reason they really fished is it was an e easy and quick source of food when you very first start the game. And then beyond, you know, f once you get some farming going, fishing is obsolete as a food source, and it, it, it is. I think the only really reason you would need fishing now is if you really wanted to tame ocelots. But you don't need ocelots. They don't really do anything. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's why I had such a strong negative reaction to uh, 
the Minecraft fishing, I was like, this this system, this gameplay system, is set up to take advantage of human psychology, uh, whereas humans will go after an infrequent reward, and you can condition them to repeat the same repetitive action over and over again. I was like, no, that's, you know, I'm not going to uh, be patron to that type of gameplay system. Uh, and I don't think, I think they should change it. I don't like it. And, uh, yeah. But anyway, this video is not about Minecraft fishing. But that was just an example. And I got so caught up in, like, getting upgrades for my gear. Like, I even remember, I got so angry one time that, uh, what was it, a, a wand? Like, some wand dropped. And this other class... Uh, this other person that was a different class than me, I was a, uh, I was a warlock. I was a human warlock. <laughs> Big surprise, right? Uh, it, if you played an undead rogue at launch, fuck you. You suck. God, I hated undead rogues. Her, her, her. Let's just use Will of the Forsaken and face roll and... My fear is the only thing I have that keeps me alive. And, oh, no, we're just immune to it. Uh, get out of it free. Ah, oh, God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Just flashbacks, pent-up, pent-up rage. Okay, anyway. So there's this wand that dropped. And it was, uh, what was it, Zul Grub, ZG, the ZG raid in a wand, I remember. And they won it. And I was like, you know, doing, doing all this math that showed that the wand was a much bigger upgrade for me, so I should get it. And, God, I can't... Like, saying it out loud makes me feel so pathetic right now. But, like, I got mad at this person and held a grudge against them because they won a fucking wand, a video game wand, and, you know, increased... You know, it was going to increase my DPS output by, you know, 1.2%, but it was it only increased theirs by, like, 0.6. No, oh, that's unacceptable. No, 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 can't have that. And I just, uh, if I could go back in time, I would slap the crap out of myself. I would just slap myself across the face and say, what are you doing? Like, you're getting angry at a real human being over, like, you know bullcrap loot drama video game wands. Uh, stop it. That, that's what I would tell myself. And it was just it was just not healthy. The entire game now there, some people would argue that the game is designed to be this and to an extent yeah. I mean, it, it kind of is. It's it's designed to be a grind. It's designed to suck you in. It's designed to keep you playing and, you know, keep making the company that runs it money every month. Um, and that's that's why I think it's totally fair to question the morality of of a game designer that, you know, takes advantage that exploits human psychology in the pursuit of profit. Uh, but you know. It, it's also totally fair to say that you're a human being and you have your own free will and you're the one deciding to play this game and it's all, you know, you have to have some willpower and take responsibility for yourself. Yes, yes, yes. That is also completely true. Uh, so it's not, I'm not trying to say like, oh, these games should be banned or regulated. No, hell no. God, no. God, no. That would be even worse. Ugh, governments can't regulate anything. Um... But my point is, is that I guess the whole point of this video is that if you're pl if you're playing a game like this, and there is a, a lot on the market, there's a lot to choose from. I tried uh, on a whim. I tried Final Fantasy thir thirteen, I think fourteen. Fourteen. The, it's the MMO, the, the second MMO, not the first one. The first one was like horribly, horribly bad, and they closed it down, and then they relaunched it. I I'm talking about the 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 modern one, the new one. Um it was okay. It's 
definitely got a lot of quirks to it. I, I kind of wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend WoW instead. Um, it's WoW is better designed. And uh, WoW is really well designed. But I just want to say the, the whole point of this video is if you're playing these games, and I know, you know, they're very popular, uh, so I'm, I know for a fact that a significant portion of my viewership uh, plays video games, and by extension, yes, MMOs. Uh, just be careful. Don't let it, you know, uh, become something that's no longer healthy for you, because it's so easy. Because I, I fell victim to it. And uh, I realized today that when I was like, you know, I took a stand and I said, no, I'm, I'm not playing anymore today. That's it. You know, I logged on. I had some fun. Now I'm logging off. And I'm not going to let this be my entire day. Uh, it was a really good feeling. And, yeah. And I just wanted to share that with you guys, that it's it's that easy. Uh, actually, one of my one of my friends, he uh, he got kind of obsessed with it, and and I'm not never going to call this addiction, because it, addiction is the wrong word to use. Uh, I mean, ad addiction is a physiological process that you know that's not a video game. Uh, compulsion, maybe. Well. <sighs> Holy crap! Tree leaves just scared the crap out of me. I looked up and I didn't know what that was right there. Oh my god, that actually scared me. It startled me. Startled me. Sc scared is the wrong word. Startled is is actually that startled me. <sighs> I was just sitting here completely wrapped up in my my thoughts, and I turned around and I'm like, ah, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's the trees I planted earlier. Okay. Uh, hi guys, Vex here. Um, the Vex you all know and love. Getting scared by tree leaves behind him. That he planted himself not even an hour ago. I am awesome at this game. Game, yeah. Uh, speaking of games, compulsion I think is the is the is probably the better word to use. Uh, addiction, no. Like addiction that, that's, that doesn't happen. Uh... That can't happen unless unless the video game is like you play it with an IV stuck in you and then it like causes drugs to be injected into. No, that's 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 completely stupid. Uh, so addiction is, is the wrong word. But yeah, he dealt with my friend also dealt with uh, compulsion to you know online RPGs and to the point where he would he would say he would turn down hanging out with other friends in real life or going to a party or doing whatever uh, with real people in, in real life for uh, World of Warcraft. Or it could have been another game. Uh, no, it, it was WoW. But I had another, another friend uh, who was really big into EverQuest, the first one. And oh my gosh, uh, yeah, um, really bad too. And he's he's gotten to the point where he'll he'll he said I'm never, you know, never ever going to uh, let a video game, and this you know this really goes for any video game. Uh, I'm never going to let a video game take be more important than you know doing stuff with people in real life. Um, I'm supposed to be putting this up. There we go. And I can, I really respect that. I I really really respect that and I think that's that's a great attitude to have. Um so yeah, I wanted to make this video to talk about that. It's just something that I was thinking about a lot today. And you know, if if it's something that's happened to you, if you've ever felt, you know, you're playing Let's use WoW again because it's a well-known example. It's the most popular of them all, and it's the one most of you guys have, you know, heard the most of. If you're if you're playing and it's like, if if you're not having fun right now, you know, 
maybe you should take a break or stop. Uh, I asked my, myself this, like I was flying around uh, today and I was trying to mine, mine ghost iron, right? And for, for all you, you crazy stalker people who love me, I am somewhere on the Worm Rest Accord server playing Alliance. So there you go. Have fun. Uh, anyway. Uh, and I was thinking, it's like, okay, if I was not after the end goal of uh, leveling my blacksmithing up, would I be doing this? Is 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 the activity I am doing right now fun and engaging enough that I would do it on its own without the promise of some future reward later? And the answer to that is hell no. I mean, would you fly around, for the people that play WoW, I mean, would you fly around mining ore veins and clicking on them if you got no drops from it? If it didn't actually give you any ore? No. Uh, I mean, would you spend all the time crafting the stuff if it didn't give you any skill points to raise up your blacksmithing? No. You wouldn't do that. that it's not fun. It's not mentally stimulating. It's not really that enjoyable. Uh, maybe some... Maybe flying around... Just flying around is relaxing. Uh, but that's that's flying around. That's not actually the mining part. That's more of just exploring. Uh, enjoying the view. You know. You can fly around and enjoy a view without clicking on rocks every now and then. Uh, so I'm not going to give mining the credit of, you know, the relaxation there. That's just uh, you flying around on a flying mountain, enjoying all the pretty views of the game. Uh, okay, let's do this here. Here we go. And if you're kind of wondering, well, Vex, you know... What are you doing right now in Minecraft? You're putting down blocks. Uh, is that the same kind of thing? You know, y yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it is. I mean, what am I doing right now? I'm, I'm tearing out dirt and replacing it with stone. I mean, if I went into MC Edit and made a giant dirt wall and then gave myself tons of stone, would I tear out the dirt one by one? and replace it with stone just for the sheer enjoyment of it? Hell no! God! That would be torture. That would be like serving a prison sentence. So why am I doing it here? Well, I'm doing it because there's some sort of reward at the end, and for me, that reward is the satisfaction of making uh, making a cool castle on top of a mountain and making a neat base. Uh, do I ever... Because uh, Minecraft is filled with tons of grind, and that is the chief reason I sometimes get tired of the game. Uh, that was why I was so, you know, into Feed the Beast, as I thought maybe there's more automation in it. Uh, although Minecraft is, they're, I think they're gradually warming up to the idea of being able to use technology to bypass grind. Like the hopper pipes, you know, the minecarts systems that you can set up, the automated... And, uh, you can do automated potion brewing with minecarts now and hoppers. So, I think it's I think it's slowly coming into the game. So it's it's every system they add like that I think improves the game. And uh, for me, what I really enjoy is what I find mentally stimulating and, and fun is uh, setting up automated systems that will carry out a repetitive task for me on my behalf. So, okay, fine. I'll 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 do some repetitive, you know, I'm just going to mine uh, just mine out this and dig that. I'll do that for a little while. But what I would really like is to be able to do some manual labor for a little while and then build a machine that will you know, do it for me, freeing me up to fall down this hole and take half a heart of damage, which is going to annoy the crap out of me because I hate having a half a heart missing. Uh, but no, no, no. Uh, free me up to do other 
stuff that I enjoy. Maybe exploring, maybe fighting. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm recording this late at night, and I'm sleepy, and was actually thinking of going to bed, but I just had this idea in my head kicking around. I was like, I want to make a video talking about it. And while I talk, I may as well do some stuff that uh, I wouldn't otherwise, I would not otherwise show on camera because it's, I mean, it's just me digging dirt and putting down some stone. Uh, looking pretty good. And, and you know, this is for me too. This gives me a, a fun thing to do while doing something that's otherwise kind of boring. Uh, you know, digging, just digging out dirt. Uh, instead of just doing that, I get to talk to you guys. Uh, which I, I really enjoy. It's I, I love what I do. I love my YouTube channel. I love just talking to you guys. It's awesome. Uh, man, I, I, I just get to ramble. I love these these discussion episodes are awesome because I just get to uh I just get to ramble and, and talk about stuff and I'm not uh, I feel because it's you know the title says it's a discussion episode, you know what you're getting when you come into it. So I don't feel like I have to stay on topic or focus or or even really be you know entertaining like I, I normally hope I am <laughs> modesty <laughs> uh, um, I could just talk about whatever and it's it's great and there's that person's house I forget who I'm sure the comments will tell me the comments always let me know everything whether I want to or not <laughs> Oh, oh, comment. Oh, wait. I haven't forgotten about the, the Warcraft thing. I'll, I'll get back to that one sec. I was actually thinking of starting up a subreddit um, for YouTube, my YouTube videos, to give you guys maybe a better area to comment in. Like, the video comments on a video are great. Okay, they're not great. YouTube, uh, Google comments, the Google Plus comment section... And the integrate, it sucks. And I hate it. And I'm sorry they did that to you guys. I don't like it any more than you do. I'm not going to bitch about it because there's already a thousand videos out there saying everything I hate about it, but more concisely and better. Uh, so I don't need to do that. Other people have said it for me. Um, what am I going to do with this over here? But yeah, a, a subreddit might be kind of cool. And that way, you guys can ask me questions. Make you can make threads that stay up for a while, and you know the most, uh, the best stuff will get voted up. And uh, it could just probably be a better experience than YouTube comments. And a, like a one like one place where you can, if something's been asked before, maybe you can search. Hmm. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh God, I would never, I would never do that on a normal video. God no. But a discussion video, I can, I can relax. This is, this is after hours. This is what it feels like. This is after hours. Like, you know, if a band ever does like, like a, a show, and then after the show's over, they just kind of hang out with the fans and talk about random crap. That's, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh. But yeah, so I was thinking about that. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. Ha 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 ha. Uh, some YouTubers have just completely disabled their comment sections. Uh, I think I'm getting sniffly. My, my, my nose is still slightly stopped up. It's not good. I have to talk. Nose, stop. What are you doing? I have to talk. This is my job. I need to be able to talk and not sniffle. Please help. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway, but... All right, whatever. So I was thinking of making a subreddit. Oh, I'll have to look into that at some point in the future. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, so my friends and myself, we we kind of said like we need to we need to think about this and how how we play and uh, just. We need to just d rethink how we go about, you know, playing these games and why we play them. Actually, no, they weren't as quite as cerebral <laughs> as that. Uh, they just said, you know, how much you play. Well, 
I, I wanted to rethink why I play. Going back to that damn wand that I was raging at that person about, I never want to be like that again in my life. Ever. Uh, and to this day, I feel ashamed of it. And it, it made me think... That event made me think, like, why am I playing this game? Why am I trying so hard to get this loot to do this next dungeon? And and one of my friends was, was playing during uh, Wrath of the Lich King, which is an expansion. It's, for those who don't understand, it doesn't really mean anything. But basically, he was... He was freaking out over some new loot he got. He was like, oh, wow, look at the, the stats on this. Look how much agility is on this or whatever. And I was like, okay, those are bigger video game numbers than the than the last, you know, pair of, of, of uh, socks you had or whatever video game item it was. You notice I keep saying video game item. That's the... Uh, that's partially for me, partially for you, partially to stress just how stupid it can be and absurd. Uh, what do I call it? Uh, internet socks? Video game socks is what I like to call them because it makes it sound stupid. It's like, okay, your your video, your new pair of video game socks has like plus 100 more agility on it than your old pair. And I would say, I would say stuff like that to him and it would just fly right over his head that I was making fun of him. Uh, not making fun of him, but I was trying to point out that what he's freaking out over is just, you know, bit, you know, ones and zeros on a computer on some server. Uh, that in, you know, a few months' time won't even be relevant anymore. Oh, and another thing. When I came back to the game, I what happened was when I came back for Mist of Pandaria, I grouped up with a friend... And we went, just him and me, just the two of us, and we went to some old raids that were much lower level, and we were level uh, uh, 80-something, like 82. And we went to this uh, raid, that was Molten Core, for people who've played WoW, it was Molten Core. Uh, now, Molten Core is a 40-player raid. It's meant. It was meant for 40 players who were level 60. Uh, at the time, level 60 was the level cap. So this this raid is... Uh, a raid is a big dungeon, basically. Uh, it was meant for 40, 40 players who were all level 60. That's what it was meant for. Well, if you know anything about RPGs or MMOs, it's that uh, your stats, your abilities can inflate really quickly. Uh, so when we went in there, we just, uh, me and him, we, we duoed the place, you know, two, p two people, uh, clearing content that was meant for 40 people, much lower level. Uh, although at the time it was the best thing in the game, highest level thing in the game. And I remember finding all these items, uh, because I was a warlock, the armor set I was supposed to get was called Fellheart armor. A fell heart raiment, fell heart armor, and I, I found some of the stuff, and I thought to myself, "Oh my God, this is like, you know, how was it was like 05, 2005, and it's uh, 13 now, so uh, eight years ago, eight years ago, God, that's been so long. Eight years ago, I was busting my ass in there for like hours every day, you know." Uh, every week, you know, we'd raid on Saturdays and Sundays, and it would take multiple days, multiple sessions across multiple days to clear our way through these raids. You know, we'd, we'd group up, and then uh, we'd, we'd clear one or two bosses, maybe three or four, and then people would have to go, and we'd have to reschedule. And I mean, just think about all the challenges that go into getting 40 people in different time zones across the world to come together and play a video game together uh, at a specific time every week to try to accomplish something. Just think about that. So anyway, we'd bust our ass in there. It was hard. Uh, and so I might join my guild for these raids and 
I might actually get a piece of gear for myself maybe once a month, you know? Uh, I remember doing one raid, it was a Nixia, uh, nine months. And uh, I did the Anixia raid with my guild every time it was available for nine months and never even saw the the helmet for my class. It was a Nemesis Skullcap, Nemesis Helmet uh, drop. It never dropped. And the, the chance for that specific item to drop was, I think... Uh, it's 12%, 16%. Just unlucky. Just unlucky. Nine, uh, I think it was like... It, the raid was ready once per week. So that's four, four... You could raid it four times per month. And we did it for nine months. So... Uh, but I never saw that drop. And like, I, I went... I was going to that, and you know... And hoping, like, okay, well, maybe this time it'll drop, and then I can win it, because other, other Warlocks were there who would want, want the thing. And, uh, but that's how it was, you know? And, so going through there, duoing it with my friend, uh, the Molten Core Raid, like, all these items were dropping. And because it was just the two of us, we were just picking it all up. I mean, all this, this loot that was meant to be distributed between, among... 40 players is now going to just two people. And so I just have this bag full of all these old uh, epic gear uh, that used to be the best in the game, and now it's just, you know, laughable. And I was like, wow, this is what I used to take so seriously. It was like a wake-up call. It was, it was actually really great. Um, that's how, that's, but that's how I felt. I was like, wow, look at all this stuff. And I used to... I used to take this so seriously. Like this was such an important thing to me back in the day, and now it's just a joke. That's what it is. It's just a big joke. Uh, it's it's garbage. It's all complete, you know, garbage. Uh, and I realized that if you're gonna do that kind of stuff, do not do it for the loot. Don't do it for the stupid video game items. They're not gonna mean anything in a year. Uh, do it just because you enjoy the people that you're with. And do it because you like the challenge and you like overcoming the challenge. Uh, those are the right reasons to play games like that. Uh, anything else? I'm going to borrow a line for, from uh, Penn and Teller. Is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. Yeah, I'll sign off with that. Take it easy, guys.